Well, what is up, folks? Welcome back to another episode of The Young Father. My name is Andy, and look, the case Maxim is almost ready to go. We're going to get out on to mowing a few little smaller fields today before we go and get some big jobs tackled under our belt. Uh, got the mowers hooked up for the finish time. It's looking good, all well and uh, connected there. And we're, we're about ready to go. Uh, Pete is out today. He is doing a little bit of bailing for uh, a customer. Uh, they mowed it all down themselves there, so he's going to get that all done. Uh, which is good so that's all looking good there we've got some silage work coming in and we're gonna have some more coming in soon and let me tell you exactly why around this corner i've done something that well i wasn't expecting to do um up until about two days ago really and then i, I pulled the trigger on it because it seemed like the best option we've got ourselves a class jaguar forager can you believe it now this is not ours i must stress this is leased or rented for about eight weeks really for the whole season there this is rented from a big company called wilson's who have a farm of their own but they also have a side hustle really which is renting out and leasing out uh forage harvesters typically just crowing in there uh, and jaguars i do believe but yeah we got one of the smallest ones they have left we don't need anything bigger than this, this is a 940 jaguars be more than sufficient for what i need uh, and it's more really just so i can so I can test the water really see how we uh, get on see if we need one at all see what that looks like for us from a business standpoint and see how we how much uh acreage we actually put through this thing but let's have a bit of a play around with it now anyway uh, you'll also notice there are two brahan trailers here that is new that and one of those the second one belongs to me we bought the second trailer there we needed a little bit more output if we were going to do this and do this seriously so uh, went for a twin axle, didn't need another triple triaxle there, but yeah, it's good enough anyway for what we need. Pairs up nicely with the Vestrum there as well. And yeah, we're ready to go. We're looking like a proper contracting fleet here now, uh, which is pretty cool. What we're going to do though is just unfold uh, the the uh, Forager as well. I'm going to have a bit of a play around with this because I haven't really done too much with it actually. Uh, it's fairly self explanatory ironically enough it is a class we've obviously just uh, departed from using class equipment but then this is what the uh, the, the company have uh, as far as the lineup and what they have left really at this late stage a lot of them have already been accounted for so that's why you, you kind of make do really so we will do exactly that but yeah it looks good it does look very good very uh, straightforward uh, controls there which i'm sure i'll get used to very quickly uh, if we just jump out though I think I've got to actually just connect this all up. There you go, it looks better. Everything's kind of connected up there. But this is the, this is the forager. This is going to be my office for a little bit of the summer. Uh, I've got to see how much work we've got next week. I've got 80 acres of uh, grass silage to go. I'm probably going to go and knock, get that knocked down actually later in the week. And uh, we'll be good to go there. The farmer over there has a small rake. He's going to get everything raked up with. And uh, we will get chugging through that nicely. So that's going to be the first out in. There's going to be some maize harvest to crack on with there as well. Uh, and then yeah we'll see what other work we can get if we can make it justifiable if it if there's enough work coming in let's just pull that back in uh if we can find enough work for this then we i will certainly look into uh seriously considering options for, for trying to get one onto the fleet right now obviously the amount of work that you would need for a, a model of even this side which is i think this is the second smallest in the the current jaguar range here i think there's a 930 then the 940 you know we 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 need to be lifting a lot of acres per year so uh we're obviously nowhere near that so what we may well do if it's you know if we get a several hundred we might look into just leasing something for the summer again for a, a month or something like that and see how we get on that way so there's a lot of different options that i'm looking into but ultimately i'm very excited because it does mean that this is a potentially a new a new kind of step for us to take here really so yeah that looks pretty darn good uh, but back to the main topic in hand you'll see that the class Aryan has gone that has gone off to its home uh, where we've hired that out to so that's we're not going to see that again for some time uh, but yeah look at this i think this is looking very good it seems to be very well distributed from a weight standpoint which is great uh, so we'll get that shut there steering wheels down get those front pulls up there and up come the rear mowers as well it's perfect so like i say we've only got a couple of uh, couple of acres to do today nothing too crazy at all but we'll uh, hey we're going to take care of it anyway that gets started and uh, we'll it shouldn't take us too long more than anything i'm just seeing as a kind of a warm-up exercise just to make sure that the mowers all running in properly and then we'll we'll take it from there but i do believe this is going to get bailed up so we'll come back to this 
probably tomorrow the weather's looking good today it's a lovely dry day the mist is burning off from the coast uh, quite quickly so i uh, should build out sufficiently and then we'll get this all done um slowly take our time coming down here though i think a dab a break here or there never hurts anybody and we'll go and get ourselves set up yeah everything is looking good we're gearing up now it's looking like we're gonna get uh, busy in a hurry which is fantastic because well the fleet of four new tractors to pay for more than anything else the class forager uh least to pay for so yeah we've uh we're, we're gonna be busy we're gonna be busy which is good uh heading back over to marwell like i say there in the end of the week i think to get a bit more work done there which would be good to see because we should really be able to fly along with that one there and that's a, he's, that fella's got some big fields over there that we can work with as well so that should be kind of cool pretty exciting uh, and it's not too far away it's only about half an hour drive i think it will take it'll be a nice little drive out in this machine but yeah we are just gonna slowly take our time we're a long machine here now this case uh, maxim is long anyway but uh, for a bit better weight distribution but add on uh probably about three and a half four foot on the front and about the same on the back make turn that road a little tricky once you're out there they can everybody can see me coming so we're all looking good Okay, so uh, we're just going to go into the village and then uh, cut kind of through the village there. We'll see how that's all looking. But ultimately, yeah, this is pretty much it for us. Got a, a couple of usual regular contracts coming through. A bit of bailing here and there that you expect. Some of it's earlier than uh, others. All depends on the customer's uh, situation, really. We have a lot of different dairy herds but that really want to try and get two or three crops of silage off there. So the first one's always very early on in the, uh, in the summer. Or even in late spring there so that's what we're doing today really not too much of it i must say but it's just going to be a bit of a, uh, a bit of a test i've only got uh, well if it's 25 acres it's doing well but uh, it's a start it's a start i believe there might be a little bit more already but the, the farmer just wanted to wait uh, and we'll see how that goes which works out well for us because pete's away anyway he's uh, up near Shawell actually getting uh, cracking along over there okay through we come I hope everything is doing fantastically well with yourself do let us know down below what you think of the fleet if you currently have or if you know anyone who has or contractors near you come on in with the class jaguar 930 940 or whatever it may be let us know what you think of it let you know let us know if that's your preferred forager perhaps you're more of a john deere man there or a new holland or a crone uh, driver let us know anyway because yeah i am still open to trying a few different models as well as by all means uh, i'm not restricting myself to just one so that's uh, something we'll look into and this is actually where we're coming into this field on our left here not the biggest though like you say it's still got some uh needs a bit of slurry or something as soon as we get this cleared i think but uh, that is for the farmer to worry about and around we go but it's a nice size for me just have a bit of a play with the mowers make sure everything is set up making sure that i've got everything kind of dialed in properly so when i do go on site with a customer it's not a you're not wasting an hour or so doing all this so this is a, a bit more of a friend than a customer so i feel like we can get it done a bit better this way but anyway yeah still gonna get the job done good lord that's right around there though good job i cut that nothing to see here people coming through coming through okay so here we are Silent season has started though, I think it's fair to say. We're in great shape for it. Love it. Alright then. Let's get ourselves in. We'll get everything unfolded. Have one more quick walk around, make sure it's all looking good. And then we are gonna be away to the races, so this should be fantastic. We will just shut this gate. I really don't fancy wrapping my uh, new uh, butterfly mower off that. That would suck. That really would be disappointing all right and down they come again now we have no swatha here like i mentioned there we we're looking into a rake we don't have one of our own last year you may remember we did actually lease one as well or hired one for the season which was a which was a good short-term solution there Trying to, a good rake still holds its value pretty well which is always uh always something to kind of have to consider okay then that's ready to go but yeah so at the moment there, we're just going to knock this down and then we'll uh well we'll look at getting the uh i think the farmer's gonna get this raked up for us anyway there he's got a little uh 10 foot rake which we'll do we'll absolutely do just get it all down main thing for me to try today is to make sure that we get it all uh ready to roll at least put the front mower down got the spool valve set up so down goes the rears there you go we've got grass coming out the back which is always a good sign 
and away we go to the races here folks what we'll probably do is we're going to get along that hedge line or that fence line we're going to set the gps up this field like i say is not particularly big it's not going to take too many passes but we'll take our time we'll just make sure we have it all dialed in and we'll be looking good for it we'll just slow that down ever so slightly there there you go and we're off there you are so like I say, now I'm just going to use the GPS on the monitor here. I'm going to put in my AB line, which will hopefully click in very soon. There you go. And we should be good. And we'll make sure we just kind of plot that in when we get to the other end there, but all should be fine. Otherwise, we're not going too close to the edge. I don't want to kind of wrap up the mowers around anything that might be hiding inside the, the hedgerow there. But yeah, this is why you want to go for butterfly mowers if you have the capacity there, because the efficiency just to cruise through so many acres per day absolutely sensational there really really is we've got the drone with me as well so we will get that up in the air watch as we get going obviously not for the first headland though we just want to kind of make sure everything's everything's going properly uh which it looks like it is so like we're leaving a nice clean surface behind us here on the bed there we'll have a look when we get to the end but yeah silage 2021 has begun folks uh let me know if you've started uh if you'd like to as well let us know how many acres you're doing drop it down below in the comments love to know uh, I know a lot of you are doing anything from, you know, 30, 40 acres with bales, uh, wrap bales through to uh, three cuts of 300 acres or something. It's a lot of difference for people. So it really is fantastic to kind of see how everyone's cracking along with it. Uh, trying to keep this, this carbon nice and clean. I think I'm just about there. It's, uh, it's a beautiful environment to be in. It feels a lot bigger than the, the class cabs I've been in, actually. This feels a little bit larger. There you go. Lift those up excellent stuff that looks pretty good and all right so as you can see it looks pretty clean looks like we've got a nice clean cut under the swaths there at least not too much grass in here but then that's going to be pretty apparent based off what's on the field let's uh, keep going we'll get the second headland wrap off there we'll see probably to be honest there's six headlands will be or six swaths will be enough so two passes on the headland will suffice but we'll just see how we get on uh if we need to do more we will but we're only bailing this like i say anyway so we're not going to need to have any foragers turn around or anything crazy we'll manage exactly how we are i do think which would be great but yeah i'm happy with how it's going so far i really am uh, what we'll do is though we'll get this headland finished we'll bring up the drone just so we can get a little bit more footage and then we will show you as we get this field kind of wrapped out but like i say just wanted to show you what we've been up to there how we've got a new forager for us for the summer at least and that we are fully ready and prepared to get started with silence 2021 which is always good to see
Well, all right, and folks, we're cracking along. It's kind of a few little teething problems here and there. It's mainly me getting used to the system. But uh, yeah, now we're ready. Now that no what and pressing and when, everything is coming together quite nicely. So we're going to crack on. This field will take me only about half an hour more by looks things, if not even that. So we'll get this all done. Uh, like I said, more silage videos to come as we get pushing through the next couple of weeks. We'll get that forager out. We'll see how it rolls. So until next time, thank you very much for watching. I am Andy, your young farmer. I do hope you have enjoyed. And we'll see you all in the next one. Catch you later.